Turn with me to Psalm 51 and 1. We must take accountability for the decisions that we made. We can't continue to blame someone else. Hallelujah. We, we can't continue to point the finger and say, if it had not been for them, I would not have. No, it was your decision. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was your decision. So we can't blame anyone else. What mindset were you in when you made that decision? Then get rid of that old mindset. Get rid of that old mindset, I can't do any better. Get rid of that old mindset, I'm getting old and now I got to get whatever I can get whenever I can get it. Uh, yeah, I see the faults. I see their weaknesses. Yeah, I see the devil in them. But, but, but something is better than nothing. <laughs> yeah. My biological clock is ticking. You better let it keep on ticking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Got to take accountability. We're going to say some things. Hallelujah. That I pray will change your mindset of you. And sister, the only way that this scenario is going to change, you being manipulated and you being controlled and you being believing every lie that is spoken through the devil to you, doing things with your body, yielding your body to men that you know don't mean you any good, don't love you. And because you are so broken, and because you are so lonely, and because you are in such a pitiful, pathetic mindset of who you are, you allow that man to enter into your house. Get real graphic. I teach the women at Hope. Women, you are the gatekeeper to your body. You are the gatekeeper <laughs> to your house. Can't no man enter into your house or into your gate unless you open the gate. You open the gate. Uh, some of y'all are a little slow. Uh, I'm not going to get into more graphic. <laughs> because I don't want to be put off. Because <laughs> you know I can't go there. But I do that with, with, in private. Uh, your gate. Your gate. You are the gate. Can't nobody enter your gate unless you what? The gate's supposed to be like this. But once you open the gate, you say, come on in. Keep your gate closed, ladies. But you open it. And before you open the gate, he knows you're broken. See, they know how to spot those broken women. They, they know how to spot those uh, uh, insecure women. They, they know how uh, to spot those women that's looking for love in all the wrong places. So you say, before you open your gate, but do you love me? They got gotcha. you. Yeah, baby, you know I love you. Deception. Deception. I'm going to get to another scripture in a minute, but we're talking about being accountable. Yes. You got to own up. Listen, I am talking to my beautiful sisters. I'm not bashing men because I get with the men too. Hold on, I got some coming another time for you. <laughs> but the father is talking to his sisters today, his daughters. 
Because we are the ones, lady, that's giving the devil access. Remember, ladies, I keep telling you, ladies, you're in control of the relationship. You're in control. But men in the pulpit have told you that men are in control. That's chauvinism. That's chauvinistic teaching. No. That woman is in control. Go all the way back to the Adams. That woman was able to influence the male Adam. She influenced him. Women, you have influence. And I didn't say manipulation. That's witchcraft. See, some of you women, you like to manipulate men too. And you're insecure too. If you feel like you got to manipulate somebody to hold on to them, then you are afraid that you can't get somebody. Yeah, you're insecure. Love is not manipulation. Love is trust and honor and respect. You don't manipulate. You just became a witch. Henpeck. Get your husband henpeck. He really ain't henpeck. He just henpecked around you. <laughs> These men ain't henpeck. They look at every chance they get. Uh, they just act like that with you because they feed into your insecurity. Or I'm a, I come down both straight. These men, they, they, they not him pet. You think they are. <laughs> uh-huh. Every chance they get, they looking. And if the ro- right moment hit them, they'll hit the moment. <laughs> I'm going to set you free, too. I'm going to set you free, too. Don't think you got that your husband wrapped around your finger. Don't think that you got that man wrapped around your finger. That's in front of you. And you know that you don't. That's why you try to manipulate them. And control. you know it. (laughs) Psalm 51. 